Hi, good evening, Inspire Fitness Academy, one-stop shop. Uh, my name's Sarah Marsden Shreve, and I'm your resident image consultant and holistic image coach and body positive advocate. So tonight, my slot is really about um, the new seasonal trends and what to expend, expect on the high street and also online. But I want to stress how important it is that you don't need to follow fashion. Um, trends come and go. Um, style stays forever, I think is what Coco Chanel said or something similar. But what I do is I do that for you. I keep, I have a look at the trends and I see, uh, predict what's going to be wearable, uh, that's sensible, that's not silly. And most importantly, I share with you the stuff that I think that most of you at some point will have already hanging in your wardrobe or might possibly be in your drawers. So I'm going to cover a few things that uh, is trendy uh, and uh, in season and see if you have anything already uh, lying at home because, you know, cost per wear is an important thing. So is recycling. Uh, so is pre-loved. You don't have to out go and buy the new stuff um, unless you need to replace something that's maybe damaged or you've got a gap in your wardrobe. I'm a big um, advocate of, you know, eBay and Etsy and Facebook Marketplace and pre-loved and charity shops and vintage because, you know, if we can keep it going rather than dispose in fashion and clothes, then it's better for our environment. OK, so I'm going to go through some of the stuff for autumn and winter 2020, 21 and see if you've got anything at home that you could spruce up and dust off and get out. All right. So the first thing that I want to sort of really talk about is colour. Now, on days like this, when it's dreary and it's wet and it's grey, you cannot beat a pop of colour. So autumn and winter, Pantone are the ones that normally uh, say what's going to be uh, wearable. Uh, they do it for interior design and things like that. And as you can see, it's beautiful. They're all very, very bright and cheery. And you have the classic colours down here for your neutrals. As you can see, there's lots of oranges, reds, greens and blues and uh, yellows there. So it's very autumnal and very rich. Now, the main one... Uh, that seems to be popular this time of year, as it always is, is red. It's very festive colour, it's very seasonal uh, and, you know, it's quite easy to wear. Some people are quite scared of red, but red comes in many different ways and different hues. It can be bright red or it can be more of a wine red. And uh, it's the brighter ones that um, you, you will see predominantly this season. Now, the second one to that is camel or beige. Now, I think I know you're thinking, oh, God, beige is boring, but actually it's a perfect neutral that you can mix. And it works really well with red. As you can see, there's some red trousers there, some shoes or a bag, and then it's just mixed with camel or beige or anything like that. And red, you don't need to be scared of it. You only need a little bit sometimes. Um, but you, it's one of those colours that's quite a standout colour. So especially on the dating scene, um, on your profile pictures and stuff like that, red is quite an assertive um, a colour uh, and it presumes attractiveness. And it just perks up your face, especially if you're wearing the right colour red. So red and camel and beige are great. The other colours, um, oranges and greens, as you saw on there, um, are predominant as well. And no, you don't need to look like a pumpkin. Orange and green do work beautifully together. Now, before you think, oh my God, that's quite loud. Actually, you can get it in really, really nice prints, as you can see there. Um, I think that one, that might be a Bowden one, I can't remember. But, you know, we've just got a little bit of green. It's an orange dress with a green fleck on there. And it just goes to show that you can wear orange and green together without feeling pumpkin-y, okay? Because it's very Halloweeny as well, so there's something to uh, think about. Think about nice bright colours like that, uh, and you know if there's any colours that you're scared of, they always work really well. Firstly, in a print, so do think about that. Um, and yeah, and the other thing that I want to mention as well is um, that there's usually some sort of metallic that perks things up. And this year it seems to be silver or pewter uh, and it's good for jewellery. It's also good for accessories, nail polish um, and the odd clutch or anything like that. So you can bling up anything with a metallic because it acts as a neutral and it make things, makes things pop. So silver is the one to go. And 
you don't need to uh, go full on with it just a little bit in a fleck jumper or a knitwear or something like that on your eyeshadow anything so silver is the metallic so that's colors that's the main ones obviously you can wear any color the next bit is about pattern and weave now there's always patterns that are popping out and being uh you know popular seasonally and the old favorite is out again and it's the check now that can be in the form of a plaid it can be a gingham though i often think that that's more summery um, but the main one is like a hound's tooth now a hound's tooth is like this as you can see like that if i see it very small there i don't know if you can see a little bit of a hound's tooth you get often get that in um you can get it in scarves and things like that. I've got a house tooth scarf here that's got the red in it and the yellow and the brown, so it's quite seasonal. And also it's got tartan on the other side, which means I'm going to get loads of wear out of this. And this, this was from a charity shop. And I think it was a pound. Obviously, I've washed it like I do with everything or you can give it a spray or whatever. But that's keeping, you know, the pre-loved stuff going. And that's just going to work wonders with everything. And it's seasonal and it's red and it's not too in your face. So go and check out your charity shops next time you're taking things there when you've been sorting your wardrobe out. So that's checks. Obviously, in coats and scarves and coatigans and cardigans um, it's and, and trousers, it's, it's a really workable one uh, print that you can wear at work um, and going out if you get chance. Um, so it's a good hard wearing print. The other one, which is a bit like Marmite, you either like it or you don't, is the polka dot or the spot. Now, you can go big spot or you can go small spot. It doesn't really matter. What I would say, though, is think about your scale. So if you're quite tall or you're a fuller bodied, then a larger uh, spot works much better and flatters what you already have. And if you're quite petite um, um, and quite small frame, then a smaller spot works really well and there's some gorgeous dresses out there or you can go with separates if you're a little bit scared of print a lot of people are unsure about print um, and there you've got a spot there with a blouse and a, a check skirt and then a plain blazer um, you can wear that with long boots or anything like that that's just an idea so do think about spots that's another one of the uh, prints that are in um, you either like them all of them sometimes you'd prefer a stripe than you would at a spot but just go with the flow and go with what makes you happy. I want to mention patchwork for all those boho lovelies out there because it's definitely back and you can wear it in a simple form in shirts or in dresses. The long midi dresses um, are great for autumn. I've got one on at the minute, a long one that you can wear with boots or flats or brogues or anything like that. Um, and they work nice with a little jacket and you can get them on. Um, the patchwork is on uh, boho bags and anything like that on scarves. I always say accessories work super hard. So anything like that that adds a bit of personality, you can try print, start small. So that's the that's the, the uh, pattern and weave. Um, one of the main fabrics for this season is leather. Now, you don't have to, before you start saying that, oh God, that's pricey. There's faux leather, there's vegan leather. Um, and I have to say, the, the, the faux leathers are much more pliable, so they are better for a curvy shape and curvy proportions rather than the stiffness uh, and the structure that uh, real leather offers. Um, it doesn't matter if you like a leather trouser or a faux leather legging or um, there's a skirt here that, that's the faux one with a rather natty jumper. This sort of outfit for this season is super popular for all sizes as well. So having a really uh, cool jumper with a leather separate or even a coat or a blazer, you know, it just like again, it doesn't have to be the real thing. But leather is quite a, a big investment if you have the pennies and it will last you for life if you look after it. OK, so leather is definitely one of those things that I would, uh, if you can, have a go at and uh if you're not as big up with the pennies, as obviously everybody is, then try a faux version. There's plenty out there. Um, the other thing is, um, it's, it's all about jumpers 
which is great okay and i'm not talking the big aaron chunky ones that you wear for your dog walking i'm talking about fun ones in nice colors in nice patterns a bit like the one i've just shown you there i've got one with hearts on and it's got a bit of sequins on it or some bit of glitz and wearing them with nice neat separates you can wear them anywhere and with heels um, or with boots or whatever it is so knitwear the finer knitwear which you can layer as well and mix and match is the more with the embellishment any interest or some nice sleeves is definitely something that i would try for this season and you will get lots of wear out of it because let's be honest blight is quite a cold place until april so you would definitely get the cost per wear if you've got a really nice jumper that makes you smile it's nice and bright or maybe has flowers on it or something like that so go for some interesting knitwear and you will get loads of wear out of it check out your charity shops if you're not sure or go on etsy or ebay like i say you don't have to throw a lot of cash and nor should you there's plenty in circulation already going around um so that's that bit i've got so much to go through tonight with the knitwear thing also i want to mention cardigans because cardigans are one of those versatile things that some people say oh, i don't really like a cardigan they're a bit oldie woldy actually they're not they're really versatile from the long ones that you can wear with a belt to the short ones that you just the uh the button up and you can wear as a top and again with a good you know a-line ple uh, pleated skirt like i showed you earlier or a leather trouser, a faux leather trouser, or jeans and heels, or boots, they look great. And if you can layer them with a shirt underneath, because um, collars, interesting collars, uh, are, are about and are in fashion, then you're not only going to be warm, but you're going to look super stylish. So think about layering and do it finely. If you go for bigger chunks, it adds bulk, okay, and you will be uncomfortable, and then it doesn't fit under coats and things like that so if you keep your layers fine you'll get more layering out of them so that's that one um the style editions bit of this is the accessories so the the, the few things uh i notice there's a lot of tassels on garments and things like that now i've seen the really long fine tassels on skirts and things like that it's up to you but personally i can just see that they're just going to get tangled in your shoes they're going to get tangled in your bags or on chairs when you sit down so i if you want to like a tassel then go for leather versions or more rigid versions on um, loafers or bags or um things like that rather than the really long ones because i just don't see the practicality in those and you're likely to get tangled <laughs> to be fair so the uh, although so that sort of thing is in also chains chains is a big thing i've got this uh bit of jewelry i got this from a charity shop actually that was two pound but you can go for um chains they don't have to be you know big like that you can wear lots of fine layers of chains you can have chain details on loafers um and on boots and things like that um you can have them on bags earrings you know it's just that sort of accessory and like i say if you don't want to splash the cash at the moment then look for little things it's really important um, and they'll just give you a bit of joy and you will also think you know you'll have a bit of a smile on your face so chains are another one as well um the other thing is um bags um again this it's the boho look so the 70s um arrive at the moment and if you don't like a structured bag and you like more of a soft bag there's a canvas one here i think this is white stuff um and it's more of the um loose uh soft pliable shape rather than the rigid totes that we've seen for a while um and you can get canvas and all sorts and you know it's that sort of shape and you know they're really user friendly some of the canvas ones and that one's a denim one i think so you can even wash that so have a look to see if you've got anything like that uh, and bring them out. The, the capes and the scarves are obviously massive um, this season. I wouldn't invest in going and buying a, a cape coat or anything like that. I like to buy big blanket scarves, which you can then just wear as a, cashmere, a pashmina uh, over your trench coats and your, your biker jackets and things like that. 
um, and that works. I've done that for, for the last five years. So that's the last five seasons. I've got some in these different colours and different tartans and different um, patterns and they just just keep on giving. Um, and, you know, they didn't cost very much money. And it's things like that that I think are really cool because then, you know, you've got cost per wear. So, yeah, the other thing with regards to scarves, the smaller ones that you can get in charity shops like the or your nan might have some of the old silk ones. If you can get the square ones, they are so versatile because not only can you wear them around your wrists, the small square ones, you can wear them around your wrists. Obviously, you can wear them in your hair and tie them up or you can just wear them around your neck, you know, underneath or um, do up a v-neck sweater or pop it under a coat or anything like that or you can you know wear them in your hair they're just brilliant and i put them on my bag so i've got lots of different ones the square silky ones in different colors and i change it on my bags and things uh some of the long ones you can you can just keep doing that and you can, if they're long enough you can wear them as a belt so you can't go wrong with accessories you really can't so they're the main things uh, that I wanted to point out this season. Um, on my blog, because I write a blog, which you'll be able to find on the image tree, um, there is um, a blog on there that's talking all about this, but it goes into a bit more detail. And I normally pick five things that I think it's worth having, not just for now, but for seasons to come. Um, because I like money to last and I like things to last rather than just fast fashion and things like that. The five things I would definitely think about, or you might already have, again, I picked these out because hopefully you might already have them, is anything that's kind of checked, in particular the check trouser. It doesn't matter really what sort of check. I noticed in um, the, the, this magazine at the weekend these are all quite bold prints but you can go really small and it's the same for men as well so like the prince charles check is grey and quite small um, and then you've got the larger checks but then you've got the houndstooth which i mentioned earlier so checks are really good in whatever form it could be a trench coat it could be an accessory or a trouser i've picked the check trouser because it goes with plain tops and it looks really good the second thing is the riding boot now i don't mean the rubber ones um, obviously, I mean the shape and the style. It's these sorts. I don't know if you can see that. They are very neat. They're to the knee. Um, you can have a block heel or you can have flat or you can have chunky. But they are brilliant and they will last you for years and years and years. They won't ever go out of fashion or style, I should say, because style is more important than fashion. We don't want the fast fashion. We want things that are going to last. And they go with long dresses. They go over skinny jeans. They look good with midi skirts. You cannot go wrong with them. Um, and you can, you know, you can have a posh pair to go out, a leather pair that you can with a heel, or you can just have a flat one if you're practical. Um, so a riding boot shape, let's say style shape, is definitely something that I would throw your hat at unless you've already got it. If you've got them, wear them. The third thing uh, for this season and seasons to come is knitwear. I've mentioned it already, but if you can just find, I call it party knitwear, um, just something that's got a bit of sparkle. I should have brought mine. I've, um, I've got one with hearts on it and I absolutely love it. Um, and Or like a bit of anything fancy or something a bit different or like a knit, uh, slightly knitted a collar or cool sleeves or a really cool pattern or colour or bright colour, um, definitely go for that because that's gonna, you're going to wear that forever. Uh, something with chain, chain jewellery, I think no matter if it's big or small, you can, you'll be wearing it all the time. It can be on bracelets. It doesn't just have to be necklaces. And again, you can go fine or chunky. And lastly, um, the long sleeve midi dress. So I've I've got one on at the moment. When I say midi dress, it's like it's a shirt dress. If I can stand up, <laughs> I know you won't be able to tell. So it's a long dress and it's a short shirt dress, long sleeved, um, with the buttons down the front and a belt, and it goes down to just above your uh suspect so your shin. Okay, and they're really really good investment for. Uh, colder weather you can wear them with the long boots that i've already showed you you can also wear them with a nice flat form uh, trainer or neat trainer uh, or brogue or anything like that 
Um, the Brogue Loafer sort of flat shoe is also available uh, out there at the moment for men and for women, not just, uh, it's not just us ladies. And there will be an investment. And even in the summer, because they're not particularly thick, they're normally co cotton or something like that. And then you can wear them in your sand with your sandals and stuff in the summer. So again, they're all five things that you will be wearing again, I promise. So that's it for from me tonight. Um, it was a bit quick, I understand. But you don't want to hear me listening to me banging on about everything. So go over to the Image Tree, read my blog on there. There are other blogs as well about uh, image coaching and holistic uh, style and colour and how to improve your mood and all that sort of body positivity. So go over there, leave your comments and I'll see you next week. Enjoy the rest of your Monday. Bye bye.